Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPA Genie. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the checkbox and radio button activities under the elements section of UI automation. For this walkthrough, we will create two separate demo projects. One for checkbox and the other for radio button. I'll be using w3schools.com as a training website for these demo projects. For the first checkbox sequence, I'll open this URL, select this particular checkbox, get the state of the checkbox and display it in a message box. Then for the next radio button sequence, I'll open this URL, select this particular radio button, get the state of the radio button and display it in a message box. Now let's see how these checkbox and radio button activities work. For the checkbox sequence, I will first drag and drop the open browser activity, provide the URL, next the maximize activity, next the select checkbox activity, the select checkbox activity selects a particular checkbox. Now for the selector field in the property section, I will be trying to get the selector by using UI Explorer. So I click on indicate element, select the window. This is the particular selector that I want to checkbox that I want to select. So I click on the checkbox. Copy the selector. Paste it. The value should be set as true. Next, the get checkbox selection state activity. Get checkbox selection state activity returns the state of a checkbox. So whether if it is checked or not, we can use the same selector from the previous activity. Copy, copy and paste. The output is a boolean value which will be assigned to var is selected. So I'll drag and drop a message box and type in the variable var is selected. Let's see how the checkbox sequence works. As you can see, it has ticked the checkbox and it returned the state of the checkbox and displayed in a message box. True. So press OK. Now, next for the radio button sequence, first I'll open the URL of the radio button. I'll drag and drop the open browser activity. Provide the URL. Next, the maximize activity. Next, the select radio button activity. The select radio button activity selects a particular radio button. So, again, I will try to get the selector by using UI Explorer. Indicate element, select the window. This is the particular radio button that I want to select. Copy the selector. Paste it here. Next, the get radio button selection state activity. The get radio button selection state activity returns the state of a radio button. Again, we can copy and copy the selector from the previous activity. 
and paste it here. The output is a Boolean value and it's assigned to var is selected. So I'll drag and drop a message box and type in the variable here. Now let's see how the radio button sequence works. As you can see, it selected this particular radio button and returned the state of the radio button, which is true. So that's all for this demo. Thanks for watching.